Hello, I am musician first class Nathaniel Wilson with the United States Navy Band. Today, I'm going to help get you started on playing the horn. In today's lesson, we will familiarize ourselves with the instrument, learn how to hold the instrument with good posture, and produce a sound on the mouthpiece and on the horn. So let's get started, shall we? Next to me, you can see I have my horn case. So let's see what's inside. You can see my instrument resting inside the case with the valves facing up. This is the safest way to store your instrument or to place it on a flat surface. It prevents damage to the valves. Also inside the case, you will find your mouthpiece. This is what you will buzz into to produce a sound. You may also find a bottle of valve oil to lubricate the valves of the instrument or some slide grease to lubricate the slides. So let's pick up the instrument and put it together. I recommend when you pick up your horn to hold it like a steering wheel by this large circular section of tubing in the middle of the instrument. It is the most solid part of the horn. If you were to pick up the horn by the lead pipe, by the bell, or by any of the slides, you could risk damage to your instrument, so please don't do that. The slides are meant for tuning and for removing water from the instrument, so if you were to grab them, the instrument could fall down. Now, take your mouthpiece and place it gently in the receiver of the lead pipe. Resist the urge to twist it or tap it, as that can cause the mouthpiece to get lodged and can be difficult to remove. Now, your horn is assembled. The sound can travel from your lips to the mouthpiece, through the lead pipe, through the tubing of the valve section, and out the bell. When you hold the French horn with your left hand, place your fingers on the valves like so. Your index finger goes on the first valve your middle finger on the second, and your ring finger on the third valve. My horn has a pinky ring to support the instrument and a thumb valve. My horn is a double horn. You may have a single horn, which is a little different. Now, when you hold the horn with your right hand, I want you to make your hand into this shape, which is a slightly curved shape. Not straight or overly curved, just slightly curved. I call it this the parade wave. I do a lot of parades at the Navy Band, but I never get to wave to the crowds. So place your parade wave hand into the bell of the instrument on the far side of your bell. The horn will rest on this section of your hand, where your thumb and index finger meet. When you play the French horn, sit with good posture. Sit forward in your chair with your feet firmly on the ground and with your back straight. Now, bring the instrument to your face. If you are able to sit with good posture and rest the horn on your leg, that is fine. But if you are too tall or too short to do this, hold the horn off to the side of your body. The horn bell should be facing behind and to the side of you. That's where your sound will travel. You don't want your sound to travel straight into your body, as that will cause the instrument to become muffled. And you really want that beautiful, glorious horn sound to ring and travel throughout your performance space. Here's a picture to show good posture and good hand position. Now before we start making a sound on the instrument, we need to talk about air. Air is the fuel for a good sound. So we need to use good air when we breathe in and out. I will demonstrate an exercise which you should practice to improve your breathing. 
I would like you to breathe in with a relaxed breath. Imagine the kind of breath that you might breathe before you yawn, which is a relaxed, deep breath into your torso. It also should feel like it has the sound of a O oh or ah, not a tight E sound. When you breathe out and blow out, I would like you to have a firm corners on your lips. Please don't puff your cheeks and have a firm airstream directed in front of you. So here is an exercise to demonstrate that. Breathe in for four counts and then breathe out with a firm airstream for four counts. I'll demonstrate and you can do this at home. One, two, three, four. You can also increase the amount of time that you breathe out to six counts and eight counts. That requires a little more breath control, but is an excellent practice. Now let's talk about bringing the mouthpiece to your face to create a sound. On brass instruments, we put the mouthpiece on our face to create an embouchure. And then we create a buzz to create the sound. The sound of a buzz is the sound of your lips vibrating against each other. And it sounds a little bit like this. I think it sounds a little bit like a duck. But you want to have a nice, firm, loud buzz. Now, when you create the embouchure, bring the mouthpiece to your face with one-third of the mouthpiece on your lower lip and two-thirds on your upper lip. Here's a picture. Now, using the breathing exercise that we did before, let's breathe in for four counts and buzz for four counts. You can do another buzzing exercise, which I like to call the siren, and it goes like this. If you'd like to add some articulation, imagine your tongue making the syllable do in your mouth, and you can articulate four notes. That goes like this. These are excellent buzzing exercises that you should practice every day. Now, we'll get to our first note. Using everything we've learned, good posture, correct hand position, bring the horn to your face, take a deep breath, and let's play a note that doesn't require any fingerings on any horn, regardless of your instrument. It is a horn C or concert F. Here we go. There you go. That's your first note on the French horn. Congratulations. I would encourage you to listen to lots of wonderful recordings for inspiration and have patience and take your time as you learn this instrument. It can be a challenging instrument, but it is also very rewarding. Happy practicing. Thanks for watching.